Okay, this is Pliskin TCG, and we have a special video for you guys. We found this at a local store for $22. We have no idea what's in it. And we're going to open it. And we're going to open it and see. And we have out of our, out of my personal collection. Yours, Sean. Uh, this is my personal collection. A Mectagon. Because we got to bring this to light. This is what David hated about the old game. You got to use this stupid thing, this action figure, oh, and this and also, activator. That's not the only problem. My problem was how to, they randomized the gate cards. Yeah. Oh, and they also randomized the G power on the figures. So you spend in the store 15 to $25 on one of these to activate it. And then look at this thing. All that effort for a 150 G power boost. Why? My, I don't have problems with the marbles. It's just the gate cards, personally, in me. They could have made a playing deck of cards back in the day for all that. And made the character cards a gate card. That's my problem. Because when you go down this gate card road, you're trying to doom the pro game. Intentionally. Yeah, you're talking about in the in the show with Winton using some gate cards recently? Yes. And I feel that they're trying to deliberately sabotage it because recently the mistakes on cards is kind of hinting at that. Yeah. That they're trying to doom it intentionally or unintentionally. And I don't want to see that happen to the pro game. I like it. It's a combination of marbles, uh... Hogs and a few other things I like. Yeah, Transformers in yeah, its own that, in its yeah. own way. You don't want to see it going down that Monsuno Redakai right. turning Macar road. road, where it just implodes on itself because it can't do well. Yeah, yeah. I used to have a a giant collection of Bakugan back in the day, uh, but I gave them to a friend of mine. On the road, only kept some of my favorites. And then with the reboot, I'm getting back into it. And then when I find some good deals, I'll pick them up for the channel and you'll get some special videos like this. Okay, here we go. Opening is this. Let's go. I'm going to tear it open. Here's the bag with the Bakugan in it. Uh, now they're making it a pain in the ass. Because they More wrap. cellophane? No, triple cellophane. Oh, boy. I don't know if that was necessary. Yeah, I think this thing was called the Baku Bowl or something, if I remember okay, correctly. Okay, here's all the things on the side. Yeah, those are like the ramps I'm just going to put them on the side because no, our camera's not big enough to film that. Yeah, we'll get these out of the way. And then I'm going to open up the, 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 I call the fan. Yeah, I call it a sunshade for like a car. This thing's massive. <laughs> it can't even fit in the frame. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll do our best. Uh, okay, I, I, I here we go. Let's see what we got in here. Time to unzip the zipper. Okay, there's oh, something some like is. something. Okay, it looks like a Aquas Neo Dragonoid. Oh, cool. Deca. It's not too bad. Let's open that. How do you open these things? Uh, Cube box. I don't know what Let's it is. See. Forget the name of that guy. It's one of the early traps. Oh, there's a small one of that one in here. Oh. Wait. Is see. it? Oh, it's one of the other ones. That's uh, Altair, if I remember correctly. Okay. That one's a combiner. Oh, Should here's uh, one already open. Let's see. Looks like... Let's oh, see. there's another one of these in there. Let's see. Uh, oh, it's one of those weird McDonald's ones. Oh, it's a uh, Triad of Condor. Okay, so that one's a duplicate to one of the ones in my personal stuff. Here's that this one. Here's the one with the spinning mechanic. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, here's the Dragonoid. <laughs> the Pyrus Neo Dragonoid Vortex. This is the one that spins. Some muscle guy. I don't know what it is. Yeah, Vulcan should be. I remember. Oh, I saw this one in your personal collection in green. Yeah, this is a fencer. 
There's a lot of green in here. Yeah, this is part of Maxis Helios. I wonder if there's enough to build Maxis Helios in here. That would be cool. There's another Dragonoid. Isn't that one mm. you said you wanted, but you never had? Yeah, I never had the Ventus one. Ooh, that one. Ooh, Percival. Not bad. See, I wonder if that's another Percival. Ooh, let's see. This might bring the light about the G-Power. If they have a different G-Power on the wing. Let's see. 460 on one of them. And the other one is 460. Okay, so that one must be one of the consistent ones. Because some were consistent, some weren't. And it was like a hit and miss. Oh, that's a freezer. Not bad. There's no gate cart in here. Oh, one of those. Oh, that's a battle gear right there. Another one? Yeah, it's a jet core and a rock hammer. Okay. How I remember the names after all these years? Too much free time. To put it lightly. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just pulling everything out. There's so many of them. At... Oh, here's a square bob. It's not triggering. Yeah, the must magnet be... must be malfunctioned. Yeah. Oh, it's not closed properly. Let's see. Oh, this is a uh, fortress. That one always kind of had this issue. Here's a dragonoid, I think, right there. Oh, yeah. This one is... Oh, you're going to laugh, David. This is the old hyper dragonoid. <laughs> uh, is it okay if I have some of these? Just yeah, for we... stupid reasons? Yeah, we could work out a deal on a couple of the pirates ones for sure. Here's this, with yeah. the metal on the side. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, that's cool. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see, I think there's a back of core on the table over there, if you want to grab that instead of using the yeah, fan. Yeah, that would be easier. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I got that one. Here's this popped one. Popped open. There's Fortress. Yeah, some of these I don't remember the names oh, off. Oh, here's man. another Dragonoid. Man, you got dozens of these Dragonoids. Yeah, some of these things aren't super rare, and then eBay makes them out to be super rare. The trick with getting deals on Bakugan is uh, Mercari or Offer Up, in my experience. Something like a or Mantis some... or some sort, or like a Horsey Crab. Is that what it is? Yeah. Weirdly, this thing's a bird. <laughs> I don't see it. I don't see it. Yeah. This one won't open no matter... Oh, I had to pull it open, unfortunately. Because yeah. this one malfunctioned. Oh, yeah. This one always did that. Mega Nemus always had that problem. Here's this. Some weird contraption. Yeah, this is a dual elfin. Don't, don't mix these yeah. in here. I'm just pulling off. Here's this one. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, this is Altair. Yeah, so we have Altair and we have Wired. So I can show Some that. Some kind of uh, creepy Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so, okay, so this is Elfin, the darkest one, and then there's Dual Elfin and the Aquas. Right there. Okay, so here we go. Here's uh, Helios. But the funny thing is, this is the one with the ripcord feature, but I don't know if the ripcord's in here. No. Negative. So, that's going to be fun to track down. Here's one that's already open. I'm just sending you ones that are already open. Yeah. Yeah. So, here's Wilda and Aquas. Uh, a scary thing. <laughs> I forget the name offhand, but another part of Max is Helios right here. Yeah, some of the names are escaping me, but here's what we got. Little bird. Oh, Brontes. Uh, this one's being stubborn. Yeah. 
had to bust them open. Mm -hmm. It's Dragonoid again. Yeah. And the magnets sucked on some of these. Yeah, and they only get worse as they get older with these. Fortunately. Oh, Chance Dragonoid. But without the dice, unfortunately. That's a shame. Here's your bird, which doesn't look like a bird. Yeah. So here's the funny thing with Altair and Wired as they combine. I'll show you guys if I can do it one-handed. I'm holding the camera. It's really finicky to do. You don't need, but you don't need to. Well, it's fine because I want to. So you did because your reaction is going to be like, why did they even try to engineer it? It's because it's unnecessary. But they engineered it because they were like, oh, they did it in the show. So we have to put it in the toy, too. Even though, when do they ever do that? And then here's Altair. I'm just opening all of them as I... This one has an ID number on it. For some reason. Oh, yeah, that was for that online game that died. That they pulled down. But it's wine feature. But it doesn't work. The wine spot... Oh no. Yeah, so here's that that combined form. Oh, and then it works all of a sudden. Yeah. Apparently it's a tied to the magnet. It's why it won't work unless it goes to the magnet. Here's Yeah, so here's Here's that the leg the leg got stuck when I was combining it one handed, but they do combine. Why? There's no game purpose. They did it in the show. So they Don't did go it. Down that road. So they did it in the toy. Don't go down that road. It better not be if they go down that road, it better not be a playable figure. Well, they're already going down that road with that with those geogons. So that better not be playable is what you're saying, right? Yeah, where you combine two figures and you have to have a special character card, you have to buy separate from the other one that no, I I couldn't deal with that. That would doom the game, literally. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this combined figure had no in-game purpose. Uh, there's no magnet on this, and oh, here we go. Oh, Ingram. The flip-up bird head thing. Oh, here you go. Triad Sphinx, I think it was. And Pyrus. This one had arrows too. Oh. You were incorrect. Oh, I see. Oh, did that one have arrows? Yep. Oh, we must see. Oh. Huh. Yeah, guess it did. So, yeah. Yeah, I never knew why these combined either. Let's see, oh, here's Alpha Percival. That one was a favorite mold of mine back in the day. I've already opened all most of these. Just go ahead and start grabbing them. Yeah, them. yeah. There's some duplicates here. And I forget the name of this one, but that's a cool sculpt. Let's see, one. I don't know why they ever did these uh, these wind up ones. I feel like some of the gimmicks were a little little wonky. Yeah, and then here's Arnot, which I feel like uh, Cindius is kind of the spiritual successor. I don't know what this is, but it's a Ventus, but mm -hmm. it looks like it's missing stuff. Yeah. Oh, and this one had arrows too, so I stand corrected. There were more arrows. It's not in the very first series. So, yeah, so this is uh, Ingram, which looks a lot like Skyrus. 
if you fold it a certain way. So that's cool. And I mean, 22 bucks, I don't know if the store knew what they were pricing here, aren't but some that's fun. Aren't I got some of these Dragonoids worth five at least? Oh yeah, and I mean, these two together are worth what I paid in total. And some of these are like at least uh, six. Oh yeah. Oh, I just happened to look on eBay by accident. Yeah, and to point these out for you guys, if you don't know anything about the Legacy game, the we made our money back off the Decas right here. Oh, Firebird. Yeah, so here's Bronte's, which the toy looks like a bird, but in the show looks like some sort of weird Kefka esque thing from like Final Fantasy, kind of. Really strange. And then like, here's another Ingram, the Chaos one. It's kind of cool. It's a shame there's no Ventus this to this one was Ingram. Being stubborn. Didn't want to open. Yeah, Mega Nemus had an issue involving the joint, and there was like a Mega Brontes that had the same problem where it was like over engineered on these springs and it got jammed. So, I'm kind of glad that they've solved that problem with some of the engineering recently. They have the same beast power. Yeah. yeah, well, in like the very original game, there was a problem with some of the figures. And then in Mectanium Surge, they started having that problem again with some of the figures. But the... But as time went on, like not all the figures were inflicted we with it. We should wrap this up, you know. It was certain figures. We should wrap this up. Yeah, I don't want to ramble too ever, too long, because I don't know the names of all of them. But if you guys know the names of them, feel free to leave a comment. But I'll probably look on the wiki, and then if I find any more of these locally. I'll make a video, but this won't be like regular content. Just consider it bonus content. So, but anyway, our social medias are in the description. And then a link to our TCG player is also in the description. And anything you purchase on our TCG player will support the channel so you can see more cool videos like this. And feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video.